So I thought this might be uh, kind of useful to somebody out there. I was uh, trying to figure out a horn. I already had like a horn set up for this guy. And I ended up just buying one of those little modules that you can play a recorded sound with. This was the speaker that came with the little module. And uh, basically one day I just kind of broke the little tiny on and off switch on there. There was a little delay in it, and it was just it just kind of got annoying, and I was like, man, I wish I just can just use a regular horn. This little circuit here, which is uh, attached to the you know one of the free receiver channels. So long as I press the button, this comes on. So long as I hold the button, this stays on. So I, I just would rather have a horn, you know, just like eh, 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 you know, just that I can just press whenever. So using a triple five, you know, very common circuit, you know, I just. Since it's been a while since I messed with the triple five, I mean, I just pulled up a basic horn circuit off the internet and just changed it a little bit. And as you can see, that's how it would be set up. So basically the idea is you can buy horns. Ideally, I would want like a six volt horn, but that's probably gonna be something for like a motorcycle or similar, and it's gonna be crazy loud. So I don't actually want the horn to be like that stupid loud. I just want it to be loud enough to be audible. So if you just wanna beep, you know, say, What's up? Or just beep any kind of way. So long as somebody hears it that's next to it, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not trying to wake up like the whole neighborhood, right? That's where this worked out. I just have a pot on here temporarily just to kind of show the little variation in the output. And let's see. I actually just set the phone down here. So anyway, you get the idea, something like that. The speaker, uh, got to set it up just right to hear it properly. So something like that's what it would sound like. Right, so I don't know. I found these values to be a pretty good range of variation to where I can kind of pick out like, all right, that's what I want it to sound like. Or I can even change it later if I want. Just kind of trim that circuit down and then boom, that's how I would do that, right? And this is what the circuit basically comes down to. It's pretty simple. It's just a triple five. You got a uh, little PNP BJT. This one's actually a Darlington, but I didn't use a Darlington. All the little changes I've made are just here in red, right? So using the tip 42C PNP as the amp, 35 nanofarad cap here, 10K pod here. I'm using a uh, six volts input into the circuit, but uh, six volts is, is enough. And uh, the volume I get out of that is pretty good. Likewise, I guess if you really wanted to, you don't have to use 6 volts. You could use that 6 volts to, again, switch a MOSFET or a relay or whatever to actually uh, put 12 volts or something like that on here to make it even louder. But I'm cool with just the 6 volts. So, yeah, this originally, you know, this is just where I got this circuit from. Circuit's DIY. And uh, that's how it works. So, yeah, not bad.